What's up, YouTube? Welcome to All Through Garage. And as you can see, I am finally on this Porsche 944. I have been so eager to get on it, and it's been on the back of my mind. I'm ready to get this car back on the road and driving like it's supposed to. A couple months ago, apparently this car would not start uh, with no given reason. I thought it was something simple. I thought it was my starter. And the new uh, starter that I did, it got, had failed on me too. It eventually had cracked, which is pretty weird. Also, I decided to take the car apart once I had got it back home because I wanted this car to be back to its formal glory. Debating on the color change, either black, the original color, the two-tone color, or a Nardo gray or just gray in general. But before I get to that point, Join the garage. Let's build this car together. Uh, let's put this car back on the road. I know a lot of people have been waiting because majority I got a mixture of people who like the Tahoe, the Mercedes, and this Porsche right here. What I really want to do is get this car mechanically sound. Like I want to get this car uh, to crank over. Uh, so I would need a starter, a battery, and a uh, ignition switch. And also I want to refresh uh, this... Um, spark rotary wheel i want to get like a whole new assembly and uh this bad boy replaced this with a uh, new one um spark plugs and all that's good everything is uh good um like i said this engine turns over perfectly fine uh just got to figure out uh, if we have uh, some shorter starting issue and i'm trying to trace out this starting uh wires that run for i mean go to the alternator and inside so i gotta try to find a wire diagram so it's been a while so i want to get back on it so i have this uh boosted tahoe apart i gotta get uh some two head studs that broken off in the back i need to try to get them off so i'm gonna try to weld on there and then try to break it off but i'm gonna do that uh a little later but this bill been holding me up with that build i've been trying to get this right uh, but hopefully this is the last time i have to take anything apart um unless i upgrade like the initial coils and all that but overall um we just got to fix uh exhaust leak which i did had on the back side corner i got new gaskets and i just gotta get a new boat make sure everything's super tight all around and overall this truck is good also the inside is looking yucky right about now um, I want to get this uh, well straightened off. So I might end up taking out the carpet and all that uh, and like scuffing this whole floor up and probably uh, putting some uh, rust protection uh, type of stuff in this uh, car. I've been looking. i seen some on the group that uh, guys will normally use. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But we're going to focus on the outside and we're going to make our way inside. But this car deserves to be on the road, does not deserve to sit in. So this series is, you know, save the build. Any build that you have uh, going on, I know things could, you know, get in the way, like with time, uh, energy, maybe a financial crisis or something happening can get in the way of build sometime, which is um, understandable. But with my issue, I'm just having time issue. Uh, like I said, I'm on the Tahoe and... I got ATV, I got all that. So right now I just wanna make sure I divide my time up and try to be wise with it and all that. So let's try to get this bad boy clear. I wanna clear this whole section out right here. Um, I wanna move this uh, air box right here because once I move the suspension, I'm gonna primer all that in right here. And uh, I'm gonna probably take some stuff apart around here so I can primer this whole thing uh try to make it look nice and uh neat under here thought about an ella swap but i that would have been like extra long especially trying to look for a, a non-44 uh, turbo trans that would have been extra energy and stuff so i'm gonna keep what i have and uh, enjoy this car it's uh, pretty fun and all that with it um it's not even bad at all it's really not well, let me put you on a tripod. Let me see what I can do. So, guys, I had uh, got this mic set up that I had. I said, why not use it to make everything uh, clear? 
So the first thing first, I want to remove uh, this ca uh, caliper, which I am doing right about now. Uh, the first thing you want to do, which is on the back side, you have these uh, C clips. It's really one safety clip for both, but apparently I had two uh, clips on uh, each one. So remove the clip out, knock this bad boy out this way. And then we got these brake pads. I might reuse these, but you got plenty of damn meat on here, so I might reuse these. And I need to get the 19 millimeter uh, bolts off and we be off. I might take this whole caliper off because I want to repaint uh, this caliper and stuff. And first and foremost, I'll remove everything out this area so I can primer this in, scuff it up, reprimer it again, make sure everything is nice and neat. Uh, and I'm going to do the same on the other side and maybe move a little uh, stuff around here. So I need to try to get this car prepped up. And then, like I said, having this car, you know, sit uh, for a period of time and it need to be on the road and I need to drive it. And insurance on this car is super cheap. I mean, insurance on other cars is not bad, um, but it's super uh, cheap right now, uh, especially for these uh, older cars. So I want to drive it and uh, enjoy this car. So let's get to it. So guys, I am removing this hub cap. We gotta pry it off. It's taking a little bit of time. I already moved my uh, brake caliper. I already um, covered up my little line. I am gonna be repainting the old brake caliper. So once I get this off, I get this whole assembly off and I can take all this out. So guys, since it's the next day, um, I had this cap right here, which is giving me a hard time. Thank God I did not cut this uh, thing off because I almost did, but I had to like rethink. But you got this little small C clip that uh, goes in the grooves uh, right here. So I ended up sliding this clip off and then end up taking this cap off. It threw me off a little bit. Um, thank God I, I took my time. And every video I try to look at is always on the passenger side. I never see a video on the driver's side. And if I do see it, it's, I never see nobody with this uh, little uh, string. I don't know what this line or cable goes to. But anyway, uh, we use the Allen head uh, key uh, to loosen this up. And now we're screwing this off this little C clamp right here. And it's raining right about now. Once we get this off, we're going to have that uh, bearing. The wheel bearing. Right here. And I got like a separate box for all this stuff right here. I don't know if this thing gonna slide out. It should. got this uh, little washer that you want to want to probably keep I'm talking about y'all me I'm gonna have to keep it unless you go to 944 bill so we know we got washer right there and we got the bearing bearing don't even look that bad and stuff so we got that I'm gonna sit that uh, probably on the I'll say on the I don't know where the hell to sit this at all right, so I set everything right here. So everything basically go like that, and we we'll leave it like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we just slide this bad boy off right here. It should come off. Who this thing heavy as hell? God damn. That's not bad. All right, guys, so we finally got everything off. I'm not going to lie, this, like, suspension uh, stuff is, like, really simple and easy. Like, everything came off smooth. Um, so I'm probably doing the other side tomorrow, but I'm not going to get this on camera. And I might end up dropping this video. But um, I guess stay tuned. I might, you know what, I might remove this uh, air box and uh paint this up now I'll let y'all see this and then uh, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna uh, do um, next or see what I need to do next 
Because um, the other side shut me bad. <clears throat> it should be like very simple. I'm going to get some new brake lines and all. So it's going to be pretty fun doing this. I'm going to do this side. And uh, that's pretty much it. Get this thing send it down. Send all this down. And then put a good primer on there. And then uh, go from there. But uh, it's going to take time. Now, so I thought about if I'm going to do this outside during the winter time and stuff, what I need to do is probably get like a tarp. Probably three tarps cover this side. Maybe that side. And then I might have to try to get like a, a tent or something over that if, I, if I'm going to paint uh, outside or whatever. I was trying to find a couple people uh, to paint this thing for me. Uh, one guy... Never heard nothing from him. Say he know how to paint cars. And then somebody else uh, never actually got a word or from him stuff. Um, so I'm end up doing it on my own self. Uh, can't be waiting, you know. Even though this thing been waiting, you know, for a period of time. But y'all get what I'm saying. Anyway, so they might have a tarps and then have like a, a heater. I might get like one of them them big ass heaters or something just to blast heat in here just to keep me going because i like the cold i be in freezers and all that all the time and stuff so i don't mind the cold but i want to be comfortable while working in the cold and all that and tahoe i was gonna work on tonight but i'm gonna just wait and just go from there she looks so good right now too so guys, I gotta get like some more uh, primer um, paint. But what I'm gonna do is go from there all the way around, work my way around here, move all this, work my way around here, primer this in, and then take this suspension off on this side and primer this whole uh, section. And then from the top side, I might go in and do that compartment, uh, primer all that down and then figure out how I'm going to do this engine bay area because I don't have no um, uh, engine, uh, little crane, majig, if you know what I'm saying. On um, dropping this motor, you will have to drop it from the bottom. I mean, it's possible to do from the top, but I think you have to, like, move a whole bunch more stuff. But we look like we got, like, plenty of space in this area and stuff just after I move that intake and stuff. Oh, I've got plenty of space underneath. So it would be nice to have this, like, nice and primer and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to get this front side complete this week. Then work on the back to uh, underside. And then make my way underneath and stuff. And then to focus on, like, setting this car down really good. And then, you know, throwing some primer on there. And it shouldn't be that bad. And we just go from there. But guys, if y'all enjoyed uh, this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you consider subscribing. Meet you at the next well, yeah, the next video. So hopefully all this is done where I said it need to be uh, primer and done. And uh, hopefully we can like kind of move like under, like underside. Uh, also, so I get all that good. I make sure everything is nice and right. And I want to get this car running and all that too. So we can start this car while it's in the air. Which would be good. Uh, like I said, I might need some two sensors on the back side. Uh, this rotor cap. Uh, this uh, ignition coil. And I might end up redoing these to a fuel lines. I got uh, some AN line. Might have to get like another box, but I want to redo like all the lines and stuff. So this is going to be uh, pretty fun and intricate. And yeah.
I look so much. I don't think the camera doing justice. I'm gonna have to go back over with this uh, one time and then hit it with like 220 maybe. And then go from there. But you ain't even gonna really see half of all this just the real well. So I'm just trying to make sure everything look nice and clean. Bear with me. <laughs> 